Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, we're going to discuss the difference between standard cucumbers, sometimes called slicing cucumbers, and English cucumbers. Let's talk about it. This is a standard cucumber. This is how you can sort of identify them is they're kind of heavy, you know, a little on the shorter side, uh, hefty for their size, and usually pretty waxy, right? These are usually waxed so that they look nice and pretty in the grocery store. In comparison, the English cucumber is usually longer and it's not as uh, girthy as the standard cucumber and it's a lot bumpier and it's usually wrapped in plastic, at least here in the United States. If you're looking for both of them in the produce aisle, standard slicing cucumber, English cucumber. That's the sort of visual difference between the two. The other difference between them is that on the standard slicing cucumber, the skin on that is significantly thicker than the English cucumber. So if you're using a standard one, which happens to usually be less expensive than the English one, if you're using a standard cucumber, you most likely are gonna want to peel that cucumber for whatever you're using it with. Now, I personally like the bitterness of the peel, so I don't usually, usually I just do like stripes, I don't remove all of it because I like a little bit of that bitterness, but depending on what you're using it for, you would want to remove the whole peel. Now, for example, if you're making cucumber water, you wouldn't want to use the peel because it'll make the water really, really, really bitter. You want to make sure that you use a fully peeled cucumber. The other thing about the slicing or standard cucumber is that it has seeds. Now, you probably have seen that the English cucumber has been sold as seedless. It's not. <laughs> the standard cucumber has larger seeds and they're just kind of more in the way. And the English cucumber has pretty, pretty tiny seeds. So they consider it seedless, but there are actually seeds in there. And the English cucumber has a much thinner peel. So like depending on what you're using it for, most of the time you actually don't have to peel it. It's not very bitter. It can actually work in whatever way that you're gonna be preparing it. So that's the difference between, uh, the, some of the main differences between an English cucumber and the standard one or the slicing one. So just to recap, slicing cucumbers, thicker peel, bigger seeds, cheaper and waxier, right? English cucumbers, thinner peel, totally edible, smaller seeds, sometimes considered seedless, more expensive, and it has an accent. No, I'm just kidding, it doesn't have an accent. So that's the main differences between the two. Now, depending on the application, this is what I would do. If you're making a salad where like, you know, you didn't want any bitterness in it, like I would probably use a slicing cucumber and just remove most of the peel because it's a little heartier, it's bigger, it's a little easier to work with. Um, if you're gonna make, say, something where you're gonna make uh, cucumber ribbons and then use like a filling, like a cream cheese filling, and you want to roll that up and make like an appetizer, I would use the slicing cucumbers because they are bigger, they're heartier, a little easier to work with. If you're lazy, which a lot of times I am, the English cucumber is a little bit more expensive, not that much more expensive, but a little bit more expensive, but a lot less on the prep time. So you don't have to seed it if you don't want to have the seeds because those add a bitterness. You don't have to peel it because it has a much thinner peel and that doesn't add bitterness to it. So it just really depends on like what's in your wallet and how much time you have and what you wanna do. But those are the main differences between those two types of cucumbers. So next time you're in the grocery aisle and you see these two, now you know. Standard slicing, English with an accent, that's all you have to remember. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I don't know why I'm using the cucumber as a prop. <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's something that you wanna see, drop a comment below. And if you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. So subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.